All righty, we'll bring this meeting to order. It is 6.30. Jeez, starting on time. Too. Okay. Do we have a quorum? Uh, I believe so by looking at the pictures, yeah. Three is enough? Okay. I will say that Chris Harris is going to join us by telephone because he's moving oh, to now. New Mexico. Oh. So he's in route and unpacking. Well, let's uh, let's take a roll call. Um, Diane, you're here. Yeah. Uh, Kelly, you're here, right? Yeah, here. Um, and I'm here. All right, well. Hmm. I'm here. Alan's here. Oh, there you are. I didn't see you on my screen. <laughs> That's okay. Right. Uh, I'm here this time, everybody. Hi, I'm Claire from Historic Deerfield. Uh, sorry I missed the last few meetings. I'm the new appointee from Historic Deerfield after Barbara Matthews left, but I wasn't able to come to the last two meetings. So, hello. Hey, Claire. Hi. Hi. Claire, it's nice to see hello. you in uh, it, over Zoom anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okie doke. Let's see. Is Holly on? I don't see Holly. Are you there? Oh, Holly's coming. Okay. See I'm Holly. Just... Oh, there's Holly. I need to click the right button. All right. We're, we'll definitely have a call. Um, okay. Pat, stand here. You said Chris is on. He'll come by phone. He's going to come by phone. He's, he's moved. He's okay. moving to New Mexico, so it's en route. I just talked to him like about 20 minutes ago. Okay, good enough. He's got a meeting. All right, uh, we all have the agenda. Um, is, are there any other items that you want to add to the agenda before we begin the meeting? Anybody have anything that's not on the agenda right now? No. Nope. Okay, good. Hey, hey, Peter. Peter. Yes. This is Chris Harris. This is Chris Harris, and I closed Hi. in. Okay. Thanks, Chris. Bye. So, can I just ask a point of question? Um, is the agenda posted somewhere, like on the town website, or? Yes. Yes. But right. I, I, I should send it to you. Maybe. It's okay, I can. I can Kelly, look later. Can you just add her to the distribution list, please? Um. Sh sure. I. Sure. Do I have an email? I'll send it to you. Okay. I can put it in the chat. Yep. Okay. Well, there's no chat. All right. First uh, order on the agenda is approval of the minutes from August 28th. I'll make that motion, Carolyn. I'll second the motion, Holly. Um, any uh, questions, changes? Everybody all set? Yep. Um, yep. All those in favor? Hi, Diane. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. Hi Holly. Okay, good. Good to go. All right. First item on the agenda, Treehouse Half Moon Marathon. Uh, anybody want to report out? Um, I Well, I was hoping Allison would be here, but uh, I will just say that even though I was not here, I had gone to Maine for a conference. Um, I heard that there was it was run really well, and I just want to say thank you to Chris Harris and Stan Adams and everybody from uh, Friends of Deerfield who organized some of the water tables, I guess, and, and relief stations. That was just amazing. So hopefully, um, you know, that was that was a good for us too. Yeah, I think so. Um, it. Uh... I, I was out there sitting pretty much towards the beginning of the parade. And it was it was a really interesting event because the there was some real there was a, there was a group of people in the front of the crowd going hell bent for leather. And everybody else looked like they were out for a Sunday morning jog. I mean it was it's just it, it the faces on the people were just really different between that first crowd of about you know, maybe less than a dozen. And then everybody else just looked like they were out for a run. But uh, they they were all uh, they were all pleased and uh, 
happy to see somebody sitting out the side of the road saying good morning to them. And uh, uh, Marie was on one of the uh, water tables and she said uh, the guys who work with the marathon said this, this was about the smoothest running race they'd had in terms of people with water stations and stuff like that. So I do want to also say mention that it was important for us to know for you to know Friends of Deerfield did buy uh, through Kathy Tomax 70 bags of breakfast food that we distributed we gave to each of the water stations, which you know we thank Kathy, you know, for doing something like that. And Friends of Deerfield did give the magnet because Treehouse kind of forgot about the Deerfield thing. So we, Friends of Deerfield went out and bought these, these uh, the logo and put them in each of the, um, uh, the runners' um, bags that they got. Oh, thank you, Stan. Thank you. Yeah, that was the 350th logo, not Friends of Deerfield logo. No, it was a great depth at Bogle, not friends of Deerville. Right. Good. Great. All right. And uh, this is Chris. My final comment is I, I collected five areas for improvement for next year, and I've shared those with Treehouse. Great. Good. Thank you, Chris. And I will mow the grass at my water station along the river road because the grass was so tall, I was afraid of kicks. <laughs> <laughs> Side comment. Sorry about that. All right. Um, Gene, you want to give us an Eastern European Heritage Festival update, please? Um, I'm just going to share my screen. I don't know if everyone saw this picture. Please. This is a group of Ukrainian dancers from Connecticut. They are bringing 70 children to perform on Sunday, October 15th. Um, they are very much in demand, very popular, very beautiful costumes. Um, we are looking forward to them and they're going to open with a special number, a welcome number, and it involves uh, specially embroidered towels and loaves of bread um, to welcome the audience. And they're going to send me a list of all their dances and their meaning behind them so that we can have a written program for people to see. I'm working with the staff at work and um, our generous sponsors. Eagle Brook School um, is leaving their very large red and white tent that we had for the craft fair and also another one so that we have plenty of room for the band. Um, I've almost finished with a press release. I just have one more person to hear back from about the details and then that will be going out tomorrow. So I think I've spoken with the um, health inspector and we don't need any food permits, but the catering people do need to send her their catering certificate from the town in which they have their business. Um, and the Polish club has made a generous contribution as a sponsor. So I'm very thrilled about that and it's really exciting. Any questions? Gene, uh, I was just, just wondering on the timing, um, you know, you have Eddie Foreman, you have the dancers. Do you have kind of like an idea of how things are going to time out? Well, Eddie Foreman is on Saturday at PVMA under the tent. Oh, I thought you said this was on the 14th. So that's why. Oh, sorry. No, the 15th. Okay. The All right. Yep. That, that the makes sense. So I, that's why I wondered about coordination. Okay. Yep. Thank yep. you. The the, the Polish and the Ukrainian dance groups wanted to be on a wooden stage indoors, and the only place to really hold an event like that would be at Frontier. Gotcha. So we've got the big auditorium, and then Dr. James Pula is going to give a presentation about the Kosciuszko Squadron, um, how it was formed by Americans after World War I, and then it became a Polish um, squadron and they fought in the Battle of Britain during World War II. Um, we're also having two Ukrainian churches, um, the Holy, the Descent of the Holy Spirit from South Deerfield and St. Peter's and Paul from Ludlow. They're going to have a display table. They plan to sell um, some of those fundraising bracelets 
and all the benefits go to the people of Ukraine. So I think it's going to be a really great weekend. Thank you, Jean. It sounds like it's really fascinating and interesting. Yep, I'll stop sharing. Uh, Gina, are the, uh, the the two churches, are they going to be uh, both Saturday and Sunday? Um, unfortunately, they can only come on Sunday. They have another event, um, something something about the festival in Ludlow. They're uh, selling pierogi and gawumki that they made. So, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so um, but they'll be there on Sunday. Great. So, what is this, Chris? Um, one other pack on that Sunday afternoon, and we haven't really approached the pastors or priests or what have you, um, is to have open houses at the same time in South Deerfield of the three historical churches, which is Holy Family, um, Holy Name of Jesus on Fair Street, and the Ukrainian Church on, on Sugarloaf Street across from Holy Family. Um, that might be a little bit of a conflict in terms of resources for the Ukrainian if they're up at Frontier. But we were thinking of asking the pastors or the, or the priests, could you open up the church for, from like one to four so that people are up at Frontier and when they get done, they could spend 15 minutes walking through churches that many people have never seen the interior of. And, uh, and then we would ask each of the churches to have a one page handout of the history of their church. Well, here's my suggestion. We might want to postpone that activity um, until 2024 because um, I applied for and received a grant, um, you know, for PVMA um, to tell the underrepresented stories of the Eastern European people in our valley. And it might be a good um, event to have in 2024 instead. Okay, that's fine. That's fine if the grant would help out with refreshments or whatever and then each of the churches could sell their crafts and their foods and stuff like that but um, the idea is that a lot of people in in the town and the surrounding towns have never been inside all three of those churches never mind the brick church up in old yeah i did those, send those, yeah. those are the four historical churches in the town at this point I did send them flyers and I asked if any of them would be interested in having a food sale, but there was no response. So, you know, maybe um, in 2024, that would be a good idea um, to um, have an open house, like you said, I think that would, and then we could maybe have an exhibit at the Holy Family Church, because I think they have a big hall if that yep. if i remember correctly so we could have an event there and then people could you know walk across the street to the ukrainian church and the um holy name of jesus church so that might be an event unto itself in 2024 that's fine okay great all right any other uh items under this i'm, I'm glad the polish club came through um, yeah, that was really nice. Okay, the next item on the agenda is the Working History Group uh, update. Um, not um, too much more. Excuse me, Peter. Can I change yeah. one thing? I, I didn't. I realized I was mute. Um, our president of Friends of Deerfield is 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 attempting to do a raffle um, to help pay for this fund because. These dancers is was a little higher than everyone expected. Our catering for Sunday is very high and everything else is high. So we are looking for maybe if the steering committee, if anyone on the steering committee could help sell the raffle tickets at $5 a piece. Um, Friends of Deerfield will be selling our merchandise and it's easier to keep money separate than putting the two together. Okay. I mean, I, I, guess, I, that's, I guess that's a resource request. Right, Stan? What's that? Good, Stan, we just need more help to do both things. We need more Stan. help, yes. I'm looking for help. And 
where do, where do you need it, Stan? I mean, we need we need Gene will need help to sell these raffle tickets. Um, unfortunately, the uh, Thomases will be gone for the wedding. Alex and I are here. Okay. I can always rely on Chris's sister, Robin, but we're very limited in the amount of people, or maybe you have friends. I know Diane told me she's kind of tied up with her whole family that Saturday, which I understand. She was very good when she helped us. But it's sort of like help is needed. If you have friends or somebody, groups of somebody that could help, we need to help. All the money from this raffle will go to PVMA, PVMA for, because I estimate that this cost will be close to like someplace from eight to ten thousand dollars. Okay. And so as, that's as far for as far that's for Saturday and Sunday, Stan. Saturday and Sunday, yes. Um, I'm I'm going to recommend on um, you do what we did for the parade and just get some social media um, posts out there and ask for some help. Oh. Friends of Gabriel cannot do that because we must know our place. So maybe if your group could do that, yes, I would. We would appreciate that. But yes, this is a this is a Friends of Deerfield raffle. No, it's not. It's a PVMA. It's a, it's a steering committee raffle. We could um, we could um, check with some of our volunteers that we had for craft fair weekend to see if any of them um, would be willing to help out. Well, that would be great. Maybe the steering committee could help out too. The steering committee cannot do a raffle. They cannot sit and help. We we are we We're cannot say you're raffle. doing a raffle because Friends of Deerfield is doing all the work. We're just looking for volunteers to help us. Not help PBMA to pay for all these activities. Uh, there was a very nice man who helped us at the craft fair, Rocky. Um Rocky Foley. Rocky Foley, he, you know, he needs to have a, a, an, um, a position where he has to sit down because of his back issues, but he may be willing to help sell raffle tickets. And we've got a couple of other people that we could ask as well. Uh, well, we could work on that. All right, because that's our president is, is in charge of this. Um, and I know he and I are going to be walking around looking for raffle tickets unless, you know, I mean, gifts, gift, card, gift cards is what the raffle will be. But help is definitely needed for this event. Well, I, I can't help because I'm actually working that weekend. Okay. And and I've, I've already committed to helping PVMA with other aspects of this. And I have a commitment um for part of sunday so i i can't i can't commit oh, to this is part of your group this is the steering committee group that's putting this on i believe okay we are not part of running the raffle stan stan we'll get help okay stan okay. yeah we'll we'll get some help we'll get help don't worry we'll make sure All you're right. covered we'll, 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 we'll let our we'll, president know that somebody is going to get help for that yeah We'll talk offline on this. We'll, um, we'll work and make sure that there's coverage, okay? All right. That sounds good. All righty. Uh, just a quick report out. Uh, I gave a talk last Sunday. Um, went very well. Uh, we had somewhere between 70 and 100 people. Uh, food was excellent. The talk afterwards was great. Uh, everybody had a good time and I got a lot of nice comments. So um, that went well. The next one up is the 22nd of October. Uh, and Kevin Sweeney is going to talk about the French and Indian Wars and Deerfield. And the next talk after that is on the 3rd of December. And Kevin McBride, who's the principal investigator for the Battlefield Project at Turner's Falls, um, is going to come and give a presentation about the uh, this 10-year project that's been going on up there. And um, 
that's going to be in part funded by the National Park Service. Um, and the last item I have is the cake. Um, we put our heads together with Leverett and uh, Fred Beckton and I, and we're going to, we had a meeting with them on the 19th of September with Silas Ball and a couple of other folks from Leverett. And we planned and scheduled. So we're going to take down the uh, cake on October 28th. So Saturday beginning at 8 a.m. in the morning. So October 28th. Okay. Yep. We went any later. We were going to run in. A couple of folks need medical procedures and stuff like that. And later on in the year, it just wasn't going to happen. So we got it all worked out. They're going to take care of their end and get at Leverett. They'll get the uh, base rocks and everything down and ready to go. And we've got the guy to come and lift up the pieces and put them on the truck, the beds. And when they leave here, that's the end of it. <laughs> well, hopefully we won't have snow between now and then. <laughs> no, let's hope not. <laughs> I will say one thing at the craft fair, a number of people came from Westville and they all commented on their cake being in South Deerfield. Deerf right. Deerf yeah. Deerf so they were pleased with that, Stan? Yes, they were. Yeah, well, it's right out on the highway, so it, it, it was a really good place to put it, I think. And yeah, yeah. it's very beautiful. So if anybody wants to plan anything in terms of taking pictures in front of it or whatever, uh, just plan on the fact that it's going to be gone by the 28th. Peter, do you have a time around that? Like what time? Yeah, eight o'clock in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Um, and should... and I've, I've notified FCAT already, so Jonathan can bring over the camera. He's He was uh, creating this video of the whole history of this cake, so he's going to footage from Westfield and Hatfield and Waitley and setting up in South Deerfield, and now it's going off the lever. Yeah, should we have to end up? Should we make an announcement the cake's coming down? See it while you can? There's something to that effect? Yeah, I'll get that on social media. Okay. So the, the date again, Peter? October 28th. 28th. Saturday. Saturday morning. Yeah. I, th I think it's a very, very wonderful story how this cake has traveled around from <laughs> you know, Westfield to Hatfield to Waitley to Deerfield, now to Leverett. You know, this is quite a story. Mm -hmm. um, Carolyn, I joined the Westfield community group just to tell them about the cake. And I actually got on and thanked them for their cake and with a picture to say, look how nice it looks. <laughs> it yeah. was like just a lot of people were like, is that where our cake went? You know, but it is. It's been throughout the valley. It looks very nice. Yeah, yeah it was it was wonderful because it was quite expensive cake and it was something that none of us would have you know done because it, it custom been... made wasn't it yeah, yeah. so uh, it was pretty quite cool. expensive. so it's great just, that this travels around i'm not sure how many people this is going to reach but just a bit of a shout out to fred vecta he's nursed that cake through about 60 candles and sockets and bulbs <laughs> and everything else over the course of this year so he's been really since the, the day it went up he's been babysitting that cake and he's done a wonderful job with it yeah i i will make sure i say something at our next slick board meeting in october october 4th i think it is whatever well, yeah, well now nice. peter this is a, this is great because if can somebody get a picture of fred backed up being like the master or the head guru of maintaining the cake so we can put it in the time capsule yeah i've got pictures of them already yeah. Oh, all right. I Thank got the you. whole I got the whole crew, Stan. I got pictures and big poster that can go in there too. All right. In fact, I think he lit it, didn't he? We did the count. We counted and well, he, he, the, did the switch. I, actually, I did the countdown, but that's oh, all right. Okay. He was there. He was up all by right, the gate. All right, we did. <laughs> yes, we did. Yep. So uh, that's all I have to report there. Um, I guess we're at new business. Uh, 
Chris, you want to date us anything more or say anything more about uh, any other topics? Um, I just think that um, we have three more. I believe it's three more, October 22nd, some day in November and some day in December for speaker events, but it's out on the um, posted on the, uh, the websites. And yeah. um, so we've got under control and we're focused on making sure October 15th goes really well as part of the Heritage Festival. Um, beyond that, I guess the only other thing I would ask Dan to bring up is that we're, because we've worked on the uh, stainless steel, you know, time capsule and then the Pelican, um, I, I call it uh, protective capsule around that, uh, we're, Stan's done some work on monument stone that would go above ground, the other two things being below ground. And so he, he I think he wanted to get some input from from the steering committee on that. Mm -hmm. yep. I, I think I, we sent, did everybody get a copy? Uh, all the committee members, steering committee members, you got a yep. copy of the stone inscription? Yep. Yep. Uh, any comments to that? I think it's fine. Yeah. There are two options. Right, well, I, I will just take a vote just for the hell of it. Uh, in terms of approving that uh, inscription on the stone, if uh, everybody's okay. Somebody want to make a motion to that? Can I just ask you a question? Yes. Um, I, I don't, I don't want to be picky about this because it's the town of Deerfield and I know friends of Deerfield have been generous in doing a lot of support, but having just friends of Deerfield on the stone versus all the people behind Friends of Deerfield who did donations. I didn't know if that was, you know, without acknowledging other people and then you're just, you know, it, it goes beyond. So my, my feeling, and it's probably not a popular comment, I didn't know if the sponsored by made sense. Sponsored by? Friends of Deerfield. I mean, I mean, I don't have it in front of me because I'm, I'm uh, remote right now. But was the Deerfield 350 logo on this also stand? Yes, it was on that's, the very top. That's there. Yes. Okay. And then it says the Deerfield logo, and it says time capsule buried the spring of 2023. Oh, that should be 24. Excuse me. Yeah, I sent I I sent that back. Okay, yeah. And then um sponsored by Friends of Deerfield because you know, with our, our logo, and that would take care of all of our sponsors and everybody's sponsors. I feel that. I, I, I think the place for wider sponsors, perhaps Holly, is just when we when it's put out there, is Friends of Deerfield can talk about how many, you know, the, the sponsors that contributed towards this overall project. But right, think... but this this is going to be a stone that's going to be there historically for the next fifty years. Yeah, yeah. If we were to list every sponsor on that stone, we would have oh at least thirty to forty sponsors. And if somebody comes after we uh, we make this stone. I don't know if we can add another name or a group. That's I'm, I'm not recommending doing it sort of generically just say friends of Deerfield. I'm 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 just more comfortable with not having sponsored by on there. What would you like? Not not having the sponsored by line, just having the the Deerfield 350 logo. And the time capsule buried. And not friends of Deerfield at all. I just I, I've never seen a sponsored by on a historical monument. Why don't you go to Old Deerfield? You'll find some there. I know that they say time. sponsored by? Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, I guess if the majority wants it. It's just I I um, did, I didn't think it was good there, but um, Stan is the 
charge according to how many words? Is there a, oh, yes. uh, a template oh, they yes. go by to yes. say? How many? Do you know what it is offhand or not really? Oh, for the total wording, concrete, $425. For the wording, okay. For the wording. So that's probably one of the minimal parts of the bill. Right. Yeah, these days, these days, the, you know, coring the granite to, to short supply and then polishing it, cutting it, polishing it at a big cost. I, I think there has to be some acknowledgement, Holly, that, the, you know, these events um, have been enhanced by the efforts of the Friends of Deerfield by three times what the town has been invested, you know, three or four times what the town has put in for money. So I I have no problem with it actually because um you know all these events like I said have been enhanced or or paid for by the friends of Deerfield's efforts so I th I think there has to be that acknowledgement somehow how about the wording sponsored by the inhabitants and friends of Deerfield no, that cannot be because I had Ralphs of Northampton. I had um, people from, oh. Um, they're friends of Deerfield. That's how you get around it. You can use your the, friends. Of, the inhabitants and that is, there's other you, people that you, gave. But you want every sponsor listed? No, I don't want that. So they would go under the grouping friends of Deerfield. And in the time capsule, I'm planning, not in the time capsule, in the outer time capsule in the red box, I'm planning on putting in a, in a, in a tote a list of everybody who has donated. Yeah. So it will be yeah, there in 50 just, years. Are we discussing this, the stone right now, Stan? No, we're discussing the, the wording on the stone. Yeah. But I'm just saying that all those people or businesses from from all over this world i mean this country there's somewhere not in this massachusetts that donated their 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 name of their company will be inside that the red capsule in 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 the yeah you know, but not on the stone not on the stone not no on the stone. No, so no something if you wanted to, if you want like a, i don't not to say a compromise would be like I said, and sponsored by the inhabitants, because somehow it did come a little bit out of our taxes. We set aside every year, and the friends of Deerfield, who were the fundraising and the people from out of town that donated. Well, okay, so yeah. Diane, I think Diane talking. Um, that's yeah. a good idea. That's a good idea. So let's talk about. It's going to be three to four thousand dollars. I don't know what the quotes are. I don't remember them. I don't have them in front of me. But for the stone itself, the engraved stone, it's another cost. So is the three fifty a steering committee on behalf of the town of Deerfield and the taxpayers of Deerfield going to pay for the stone? The stone alone. Uh, one of the stones is three thousand one hundred and twenty-five dollars, and the second stone. Oh, it's four thousand something. I don't have it in front of me right now. So we're to decide on either stone, but is there any money for a stone at the moment? I, I, is there anything you left know. anywhere? My Carolyn? understanding was that the stone was totally being sponsored by Friends of Deerfield. It's not yes. fair. There's no town money involved in this. There's no town money in this at all. But now what we're doing is we're asking for help to house. help us right. pay for this granite stone, which we haven't decided which stone we're going to pick yet. Because there are two stones that I presented to you, that you know, yes. we presented to you. Okay, okay, okay. One one thing here. There's two issues on which stone does the steering committee want to approve? And secondly, who's going to pay for it? Deerfield, really back in January, we did not budget for the stone itself. We had already paid to Franklin Tech 
to get the interior stainless steel. We had already negotiated um, with Pelican to get the donation of the box, which is probably a $3,000 donation. And so the question is, there's two questions on the table. Which stone does the steering committee prefer? And is there anything from the 350th Town of Deerfield Fund that can even partially go towards it? Or does Friends of Deer Hill go out there and have to find the money for it? So the wording doesn't matter. Can I ask um, or um, make a suggestion? Um, Peter, I think when you rolled up the to date expenses, I don't know what they are currently, but they were upper 30,000. Yeah. And we were anticipating what more additionally out of that. Another nine for the heritage festival. For the what? For the Heritage Festival. And we I have thought we approved seven. We, we approved that we approved that already. That wasn't included in the 30 something. Okay. We approved seven. Seven, I thought. Uh, and we I have additional expenses coming, Holly, for <laughs> the um more of the recordings that Marie is doing, you know, stories and stuff. Okay. So, so I, I, think, I feel comfortable having yeah, the, I just can I finish my though. point, please? Yes. Um, so I think this committee was supposed to approve all expenses. So if there's additional expenses that haven't been brought to us, we need to be aware of them because we had the PVMA um, up to 7,000 that we had okayed. And then we had the expenses to date. Is that correct, Peter, so far? Uh, I mean, with the... The question that just got asked has not been discussed before. This is the first time the request is being brought to the steering committee, as far as I can tell. Right. Um, this is a question of an added, it's a request for an added okay. contribution from the town. Before okay. that, so, my understanding, Friends of Deerfield was doing it. So, yes. Okay. So if I could just continue, I know that we're trying to keep the town expenses as limited as possible, but of the 70,000 that we were approved completely by town meeting, we have still considerable wiggle room. And so given that, I think to maybe remedy this whole issue, I'm, I'm going to suggest that the steering committee take over the purchase of any stone we need, and then we'll have it engraved as it would be appropriate from the town of Deerfield. And we would just have the expenses fall under the steering committee expenses. Where do we actually stand with expenses? Are we on That's the what I was trying to get a handle of. Yeah. Peter, Stan, Chris. Well, it's Peter. It's it's because it's steering committee is separate from Friends of Deerfield for expenses. Mm -hmm. We get it from Friends of Deerfield. Right. I'm so sorry? We had, uh, up through the parade, I haven't looked at the budget lately, but up through the parade, we were in the 30, and then we appropriated another seven. I was thinking it was nine, but for the Eastern European. And then we really don't have too many expenses above and beyond that. So there is wiggle room. Okay. I just looked at the 70, yeah. I you, you, would I would not want to use taxpayer money for this if the friends of Deerfield are willing to do it, and that's all I'm saying, Holly. There is no problem if friends of Deerfield want to do it. It's fine. Friends of Deerfield our finances are getting very limited. We are paying over three thousand dollars for this um, weekend for our food and. And we have, still have these two lectures coming up, and there's another 2,000. And let me tell you, we are very limited on our funds. Okay. Then that's, a different, you. And that, and then that's a different story. Yeah. yeah. A few um, meetings ago, Peter said 
we have spent 36,000 and that's when we authorize the additional seven. So that puts us at 43,000. Okay. Um, I think it just makes sense with what Stan is saying that we take over this monument and then we will well, have control of well, with how big, how respect, small, what we can with, afford. With all due respect, the Friends of Deerfield are already in fourth, nearly $4,000 on what's going to be below ground. So what we're talking about is three to four thousand dollars of what's going to be above ground. So so it's not like town of Deerfield or friends of Deerfield, we're in this together. And so if we want to change the wording and the town wants to get involved through the steering committee of paying for what's going to be above ground, you already done what's below ground. And so so and it'd be pretty much even. It's like it's like four thousand dollars below ground and up to four thousand dollars above ground. So so you know Diane's suggestion of changing the wording, if the if the steering committee and the town of Deerfield get involved in funding the stone itself above ground, then you'd change the wording to be sponsored by the town of Deerfield um, taxpayer and I not taxpayers, that's probably a bad word, but inhabitants and the Friends of Deerfield, because the Friends of Deerfield, our sponsorship pool goes way beyond residents of Deerfield. Chris, let me ask you, have, um, regardless of the cost, you're already, you're already working with people that have the stone, that cut the stone, that, I mean, I, I, what yeah, I'm thinking yeah, about, yeah, so, so yeah, you're really, you're already into that process. You're simply this is simply where we're we going to get the money to pay for this out this piece of what we're going to do with the stone. We have to prove the shape of the stone, which type. Stan put out two types. I guess one you consider a tablet, the other you consider some sort of triangle type thing. But but you know, there's not that many people in Western Massachusetts that do this anymore, right? Some of them got out of business, you know, through retirements, et cetera, and just closing down the businesses. So I think I think Stan's quotes are coming out of uh, uh, Greenville, right across the bridge there in the Greenfield. And, and we must also say that this stone is not from China. It's coming up from up north. Is that was one thing I I stipulated to them. I do not want those China stones, but they do not last. I, I, I guess where I'm where I'm coming from is the the concept of taking over, and I what I'm trying to clear up is if you you're already into the process, you've talked to the producers of the stone, the carvers of the stone, and everything else. Yeah, I'm not into taking over the yeah, stone. I mean, we, I mean the, the so, question so, then becomes: Can we can is the steering committee willing to fund? Uh, approve the additional funding for the stone. I think that's the question. Yes. Peter? Hey, Peter, yeah. why don't we just split the price between the steering committee and the friends of Deerfield? We'll split the price. Uh, if we were saying we have a little wiggle room in our budget, their budget's a bit constricted. Uh, if we if we split it and let them, friends of Deerfield, proceed with the arrangements that they've sort of started, I, I don't mind if anybody else uh, doesn't object. I have to agree all with the, you, Diane. All the fun, all the, Our all funds the are very limited. Exactly. Well, do you have half enough for half? Half of this, is, we may not be able to do now that we got that total cost, total amount of, I forgot what, um, where is it? Now that we got that total of 96 kids, okay. so that means Sam. that increases, Sam. whatever. I don't want to get into that. Whatever you decide is fine. And I, I have to take a position here as treasurer of the, uh, yeah. the organization. Okay. I will, you know, I'll agree to splitting the cost. And if we don't have the money, I'll go find it. Okay? So that's on my back to do that. And, uh, and Thing it would be would be a you know generous uh, approach to it, a fair approach. 
And then we have to redo the wording, get approval from the steering committee for redoing the wording. Any final proof before they start laser engraving a stone has to be approved by the steering committee. Mm -hmm. Right, I agree, yes. We, will, we ought to circulate a proof of what it will look like. Yeah. And we need to do right on top of that. And, I, and, and one more thing, Chris, I, I, I would say, if we want to do it in the spring, we need to do this, put this order in as soon as we can. Otherwise, it may not be till the summer. Yeah, it's a three to four month lead. So everyone yes. knows what we're doing. Well, if, if the steering committee appropriates some funds for this too, then it could simply go in as the town and friends of Deerfield. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. How how's that work? Yep. You want to take I'm, a vote on it? I, I I just personally think it would be cleaner if we just took it over and you and, want and to you that. want to take something like this over, Holly, because nobody else in the committee's gone. Yeah, yeah, I'll take over the stone. I'll work on it. Yeah, but 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 Holly, with all due respect, not... you know, we're already halfway there. We have everything covered below ground. I'm not saying you don't. I'm talking about the stone. What type of stone would you like to see, Carly? I'm I'm not I'm I'm not upset with the kind of proposal you have at this point, but this whole how we're gonna manage it, how we're gonna fund it, I just think it's cleaner if it's something that you no longer can afford to do, then we should just take it over. And if I'm Friends of Deerfield at some future point comes out in a better financial place and wants to give the town back some money to help, well, then they can gift some money back. But this whole tug of war, it, it's just, it's frustrating because I think it just should be one entity doing this. I'm fine with Friends of well, Deerfield. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm <laughs> treasurer of the I'm treasurer of the Friends of Deerfield, so I'll speak officially for our financial position. And I told you that we can get the money if we have to get the money if we're running a little bit short. That's not the issue. The issue is we've been collaborating with the town very closely all these many months, and it's worked out perfectly well. So there's no tug of war here. I Right. I think I think we'll let the friends of Deerfield do it. I'm totally for uh, for splitting the cost. Where where are we? The steering committee is getting their money from the friends of Deerfield. Uh, we're just giving a little bit, or not giving a little bit back. We're just collaborating on getting something done that we've been talking about. And yeah. I'm for just letting the friends of Deerfield do continue with what they we've been doing is backing us up. Chris, yeah, what do we need? What do we need scared. in terms of the appropriation yeah. to do what you want to do? Say Pardon? that again. What, Chris? What do What do we need in terms of the, the dollar amount that you uh, to so split you, the costs? Appropriate up to two thousand dollars. Yep. Okay. You need to You need to participate in which type or model of stone you want. And you need to approve ultimately the wording and the proof before they laser engrave it. Can I ask some questions? What does the colonial style tablet look like as opposed to the flat style monument? I was gonna ask the same thing. I just okay. sort of let it float when I read it because I, I excuse me, I thought I'd have a little bit more. I, I go well with pictures. When, Can you describe either of them? Yes, when I went to the um, I went to the Tilson Library, and I looked at both of those two stones. I was copying both of those two stones that are at Tilson. One okay. is sort of like that triangle, or it's called a pillow shape, and the other is more like a tablet, a just a solid piece of stone, square stone, nothing on top. No design on no no hoops on top. 
this is a plain you have to look at the two at Tilson Library. That is where I got okay. my so numbers. here's the thing. You're asking us to give money or agree and approve on money, but we have no pictures, nothing to look yes, at other than what's written here. So it would be great is if we could get something in email samples of what we're approving. Excuse me. I said go to Tilson Library. That are the two copies. Unless you Peter, don't go to Tilson. Peter, as a reference, so uh, can I ask you for an opinion about stones and designs? Well, I was perfectly comfortable to leave it to friends of Deerfield. Um, I, oh, come on. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. They, oh, yeah. Before I really we began the meeting, it seemed, it seemed oh. like the only thing we were asked to do is approve the inscription. And then okay. it's gone. No, we were <laughs> asked to approve on a type of stone, yeah. which is like between $3,000 and $2,000. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Before the meeting, the only thing I got in the mail was this is the inscription. That's all that was on the agenda was the inscription. No, the, no. The, 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 were, the, the, the oh, two stones okay. were described, but no pictures yeah. of them. Okay. Uh, okay. The top of the shoulder. The shoulder. Okay. I'll be table this until next month. And in between, we are all obligated to go look at the stones at the Tilton Library. Mm -hmm. And then we can decide no. based no. on perfect. Okay. okay, but why why can't um if we're getting quotes from Negus and Taylor, why can't they give us a quote with a picture of what the stones look like and the dimensions and everything? Because you get a quote, it has all the details. I'm sorry, they do not. When I just bought my stone for Old Tearfell Cemetery that I'm being buried in, up at River, they did not give me a picture. They do not do that. They give you a quote of the style. You go there and you look at the picture and that is what they want. There's 150 or more pictures. They just don't. This is a small company. Okay. We're not okay. talking something from New York City that can come out and do all of this extra work. I mean, go to Tilson. I copied those two stones. I brought it to this Julie at, 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 at in North, I mean, in Greenfield, and I showed her. We kind of, and note, they're, they're not exactly the same, but they're basically the same. There's always, because of the, those are old, they may be a little angle has changed or something, but basically, go to Chelsea and you can see the two stones. That's the picture. Okay, so, so. Um, this is Chris. So, if anyone knows stones and gravestones and monuments, it's me, as you probably know. Yeah. And so, so we will get a dimensional rendering because I know the owner of Mayus and Taylor. I know the owner of Dorsey Memorials too. So we will get that rendering. But one of the reasons Stan proposed two different I'll call it models of the stone, is because there's two different models in front of Tilton. And we assumed we would bury the time capsule in front of Tilton. And so the question is, how do you want this whole thing to look? And it, and I know I'm concerned about construction that's going to go on at Tilton. Well, you know what? You'd probably have to pull out all the monuments that are there if you're going to have truck traffic over there. We do that all the time in cemeteries when we take out trees, et cetera. So we would have to temporarily pull out the monuments and reset them. And it might be the same for this stone also. So, and we might delay installing the stone just because of, you know, truck traffic and however they're going to organize that construction site. So don't anybody worry about that. We do this all the time. Temporarily remove monuments or gravestones and we handle them very carefully and safeguard them. And then we put them back once the tree work or the landscaping work is done or what happened and the trucks are out of there. So, so we'll, get, we'll get rendering of both sizes. But the bottom line is going with grants because it's the most durable stuff that exists in New England and it'll last longer than anything else. 
Mm -hmm. uh, Chris, uh, if there's already a stone, if it's going to be placed next to a stone that's already in the ground, uh, would it be right to be consistent and do the same style side by side? Um, yes, that could be an aesthetic approach, but I leave it to you. I'm 2,000 miles away. Uh, but gonna make it out of the, library. the next question I have to ask you, which I don't mean to add more to fire to you, has the, has the trustees of the library approved of this this being buried on their on their land on their grounds? Anybody? I mean, I would say that's a town <laughs> property, and it's not up to the board of trustees. The town owns the land. That yes. is that is correct. Okay. Okay. All right. No, it was just something I was thinking of. Okay. Well, as it stands, until we see the pictures, um, I'm not opposed to uh, splitting the bill in half and keeping it with the friends of Deerfield doing all the arrangements. Um, I know, Holly, you would like to take it on yourself, but I'm just as pleased to let them just do it. I really am. They've, they've been doing a little bit more research. Um, I'm I'm not prepared to vote on this tonight. Okay, alrighty. I think it should just be on the agenda for next month. Sounds yep. good. We'll, we we'll table it for the time being. Excuse, historic Deerfield. We're not normally this contentious. We must be tired. <laughs> I'll tell you, I, I, certain I, things I, you I, want to resolve. Yeah. No, no, I'm happy to listen, and I understand it's a complex situation. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Um, so, so that oh, is, uh, this stone is on hold till next month. That's correct. Just... That's fine. In the, in the meantime, I hope everybody goes to Telson to look at those two type of stones that are there. Yeah, I think we can manage that, Stan. Thanks. Um. Holly, did you uh, have you talked to Rocky about the uh, inventory of? Uh, I, I did. I I did, and I did send. Um, unfortunately, it was just a little bit before this meeting. Um, I did send the items that he has so far. Okay. Um, let me just go to my. You sent them out to what the steering committee? Yeah. Um, right, well, we just we'll just see them from there. I had a couple items that I was thinking about, and I didn't know if they were going to duplicate or. Uh, yeah. So, is, is um, Rocky willing to collect all of these then? Um, <laughs> he's been collecting, and he didn't, you know, seem like it was a problem doing it. Um, items he said he has so far is the annual report from last year. The historic Deerfield 350 periodical. No. The Deerfield annual town meeting um, 2023. The 350 parade application and participant list. The um, pictorial postmark um, envelopes um, displaying the cancellation stamps. A Founders Day pen. The 350 um, beer glass and uh, party favor, a Deerfield Fire Department badge, and a newspaper about the July 26th flood. Um, he also, I asked him if he wouldn't mind just giving us a bunch of pictures of what he has so far, and that's included in the email so you could see them kind of laid out on a table that he took them all with. Okay. That's that's a brief um, listing of all that stuff. He's got a lot of little things. Um, uh, I, I guess when you, when you see the email, and I apologize for not being sooner, it was like some of the advertisements for the parade that was in the newspaper. Um, a picture of Marie Thomas holding up a newspaper, um, that picture that was in the paper. So, he, you know, he's been collecting stuff and you'll see an array of things, but nothing's big. 
It's a lot of paper looking stuff, a um, handful of, you know, more of a substantial item, but a lot of paper. Okay. We also well, need to get the, um, the stamps. Yeah. And we're going to have the 2024, um, you know, in the spring sometime will be the annual report for 2023. We put a little extra money in for uh, additional 350 reporting and pictures and stuff. So the 2023 annual report will be really quite good. Pat uh, Kroll usually organizes that. So she'll probably get on us a little bit earlier than usual so that we can have that done. <laughs> There she is. I've she talked to Pat them. already and she's got a bunch of pictures. Yeah. Um, the, I guess the next question, Holly, would be, do, do you think that uh, um, he'd, be, he'd be willing to be the person collecting the item or just getting the list of the items? I think you mean to continue collecting? Well, not so much. Well, collecting, but also if, like, I have some items, I can send him a list of what I have. And I think if we all had some items that we thought might be appropriate for that, we could also send them to uh, to Rocky. That's why I was just wondering if he would be willing to, we thought he'd be willing to do that. And then he can be our sort of our clerk for that one particular thing to uh, keep I, a list I, I, of what I, we're going to include. Okay, I can ask him. I think he pretty much has volunteered already, Peter. Yeah, I sort of figured that, but if we ask him officially and he says yes, then I think we can all send our lists of things to him. I mean, I've got the softball from the Deerfield soft, uh, Northfield softball game, and I actually drank a, a can of the of beer the other day with the 350 <laughs> logo on it, and I was careful not to crush it up and... and <laughs> It would look pretty good. I might want to fill it with plaster, but it should be in there. So, yeah. you know, there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff and I've got posters and things that uh, I've created and, and, and what have you. So, yeah, you know, I, I, uh, I have a few items from the parade as well, because when we were laying out the parade, we did index cards colored by what the entry was. And we have a couple pictures of all of us around all the index cards, getting them organized. So. Yeah. Um, a few of those items. I don't know if Pat Kroll would want specifically any kind of report about the parade or some parade pictures. He's probably for looking for pictures to th to put in all over in the report for sure. Okay, but, Kelly, but maybe you and I can work on that because I know you had a bunch of pictures. Yeah, I'll have to look through my phone. Um, mm -hmm. But I know you, you put a bunch out on um our oh you mean of the thing? actual parade yeah oh yeah Got yeah i mean a yeah. few of those and then i know between us we have some of the work group as well yeah yeah okay that'd be good yeah, yeah, I, 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 uh, friends at deerfield has a few things that we're putting in the red box not the time capsule but in the red box things that pertain to what we friends of deerfield have done you know from the jubilee all, all of our activities and I that we were putting ours because when I spoke to the building inspector, he told us to put them in totes. And in fact, Carolyn, I was looking for those bells to see if they would fit in those totes that I bought. I have I have the posters and the bells at my house and I'd be glad to bring them in. Uh, I just didn't want anything to happen to them. We never okay. used them in the, on our uh, float. We were going to hang them you know, over the roof of the float, but because right. it's rainy. See, um, see those Diane could now go in that them. red box, you know, if, if they well, fit. Diane in has a lot of the right. What's yeah, that? I, I said, Diane put a lot of effort into um Right, that's why I'm trying to preserve them. So I have them all organized like Diane had them, and it's, so it's perfect. Plus, I have the kids' posters that were on our floor. Okay, so those could just go in the red box and not in the time yeah, capsule, yeah. because that red box is very large and like I said the building inspector said as long as we put them like a, in the plastic tote and make sure that they're all with plastic around them. Perhaps early in the spring we could have a fill the box like Tetris and putting all the pieces in and getting it ready you know 
you know, right. people coming yeah. together with. Yeah, because I know we want to put in our bylaws and, and some of the pictures that we have done. You know, and and maybe some of our banners of all of our sponsors and whatnot. Yeah, I'll I'll bring the posters in and the bells in and. Leave all right, them. let me know when they come in so I can look at them and find the right size okay. plastic tote to put them in. Okay. If you don't Excuse mind. Sidestepping on the subject, Kelly, uh, did you get a whole bunch of the bell pictures that I sent you about a month ago? No. Okay, I'll try to send them to you again. Okay. All right. Okay. They, I was wondering if, because if you got them, you would. Diane, can you CC Pat Kroll too? Because Pat, it, you know, any pictures that we have, okay. Pat is having a doing a folder so that. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to figure Google Photos or whatever. I thought I made a book out of them, but yeah, I'll try again. Yeah, just try sending it and then just do a follow up email that you sent it and I'll just see if maybe it went to spam or something. Okay. Alrighty. Another, another thought I have thought about, and I don't know if it's going to fly. Um, Murray Thomas and I put a display in 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 Bobby's drugstore. Um, was it Frontier Drugstore? Frontier Pharmacy. Yeah. Of uh, many things from the three hundred. I think that would be super great if we could put those in that same box, but label them from the 300, and that would be over a hundred years old items. There's shirts there, there's um, there's coins. I think Chris gave some of this stuff and and many people, I don't know, I'm sure everybody has seen the drugstore display that Marie and I put up. I, I don't know what, you, what you idea. think of putting that in. I think that's a great the idea. Box, not the, you know. As long as we still have space. Yeah, we get right. stuff together. If there's enough space, then I don't see a problem. Oh, there's a lot of space. That's a big box. Sounds, with everybody, it sounds like this box is starting to fill up. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> that's what we want to do. Yep, that's what we want. We want to say, make sure that we so have. It's okay if I do collect this stuff. Is it time to take it out of Bobby's store? He wants it out now, or soon? No, he doesn't. But it's it's some of the papers are getting like. The red T-shirt from uh, Mr. Beckday is turning like pink, and, oh, okay. and the Friends of Deerfield sign is rolling up, and it's, it, the sun is beating yeah. on it. Sure. Put a, take them down. Put them in a bag. <laughs> and maybe we can put something different up in that, in that store. Sure. Holly, in terms of the uh, report for the parade committee, I... I, I'm not sure it's going to, the town report is going to work the way it has, but I've been writing sometimes with other people contributing into the annual report, sort of the annual report of the steering committee. So yes. it, it may go in as a subsection under, under the steering committee. That's, that's I, what I so. figured it would probably, okay. but you know, because we have more to report this year than oh, probably any year. Um, I, I don't know, Carolyn, do, is it just all the things like the parade would fall under the steering committee or would we have yes, a special Peter, section? Peter does, no, Peter does the report for the 350 and then you would just have the section, a subsection of the event. Okay. Okay. I, I didn't know if there was a special section because it was our anniversary year where other events would be highlighted you know like uh like so a little be, pictorial history of the year no it will be the same um you know each committee has their report okay and uh, but we want to make we put in money for extra pictures because it costs money to print pictures and i would so love to have a great picture of the birthday cake on the front cover this year yeah huh. I think got, that would be fabulous. I've got some really good pictures. Cover. Yeah, I got some really good pictures of the cake lit at night and stuff. I'll share them I with mean, you. I don't know what you think, but I think for the three fiftieth, that just yeah. makes sense having yep. the birthday cake. Yep. yep. Good idea. Good idea. And throughout the entire report, putting a variety of other important pictures, or maybe like she, like Carolyn said. 
within your section, Peter, just have a dedicated section to the entire 350th and include, even yeah. if they have to be small photos, get as many important photos of events that we can. Yeah, we want to- uh, we, I think when we get through at the end of the year, we'll have a calendar of what everything we did along the way. And um, you know, some events like the parade and the fireworks and whatever are, are big events and others are relatively small, but we can we can put them all in there. I've been collecting stuff along the way. I've got a lot of photographs. I've probably got close to 500 photographs taken of various things this year. So, well, I, I, that usually has to dig around for photos, and so we yeah. intentionally in budget extra money for extra photos, and we're trying to get as many photos to Pat as she as she can get, so yep. that we put stuff in because a lot of times you know you have a report that ends and then there's a space well in every space we want to put a picture instead we, of having empty white space at the end of somebody's yeah. report that might be only a half page i try and put a photograph mm -hmm. we're, gonna, we're gonna pay for extra photographs throughout the whole book and we have you know we had that awful flooding we had eight almost 18 million dollars worth of flooding damage which in july which was worse than irene so we, we're going to have flooding pictures too because you know that's going to have a significant impact on us as a town so this this is going to be a fat picture year for pat she's not going to have to dig around she's going to have a lot of choice <laughs> So, sure. but we want to give her as many choices as possible so that we have really great pictures. And I, I'm, I think it's great to have idea to have the cake on the front. It is a beautiful cake. It is. Yep. And, and it's the only time that that would, well, I don't know what they did at 300, but. They, just, they didn't have a cake. They had other things. They had a statue kind of sculpture thing that they had. Yeah, um, teepee, or sort of like. Uh, no, it was like a. Piece. It was like a fortification, and uh, you know, it's. Just, or something. What? What? Yeah. Whatever. I've I've got pictures of it. I don't know how to describe it. It was a. Uh, yeah. A, an well, art I don't expect it, a, that we're all going to be around for the next fiftieth. Yeah, so. Well, not like four hundredth. <laughs> um, the the other thing to think about. I have two big boxes of the pictures that were taken for the 300th. But they're all fading colored pictures or slides. So I think one of the things we need to think about is how are we going to convey these because pictures in that format are not going to survive. So I think what we need to a digital version or a digital um, way to store the photographs for this particular for the three for the pictures for the three fiftieth, and out of those we can have most of the time capsule have uh, them available uh, for Pat to go through and and look at the various events and select the pictures out of there. And when we send them to Pat. He has them in a Google file or something, right, Pat? You have them. You have them electronically already. The one, I don't have very many at all, and I just would have them on my hard drive and on the server, and then they'd be backed up off site. But could you put them in a like a thumb drive or something? We that... can put them on a thumb drive. We can put them. Uh, we have different ways that we can can store them. We can even, I think that what we have is a hard drive that we store over in the highway department that we used to bring over. Kevin Scarborough used to bring it over every once in a while to do backups, but I don't, I don't really know that I've seen it since Jen Gannett left. I don't know what we were using that for, but we can always use a, a backup hard drive for that or thumb drives, but just having it on the server, having it on our shared drive, having it backed up off site 
yeah. keeps it safe. Okay. Well, I think, I, 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 I think if Pat is putting the town report together, she can just make sure the pictures are on something that we could stick into the time capsule, ultimately, whatever. Oh, if you want them in the time capsule, then then we have to maybe put them, burn them onto some sort of disc, or I don't know what they would look for in the future. <laughs> we have to future-proof them. <laughs> yeah. Well, we we will cross that bridge when it comes to it, but I think we've uh, I think we know you need pictures. I'll that's a consensus. I'll I'll drop off a bunch for you at at, at some point in the near future, and then you can go from there. Okay. But, uh, alrighty. Um. Any other items? I think we've gone through the agenda. Hearing none, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Are you going to set another meeting? Oh, sorry. Um, the next meeting would automatically be October 30, but are, is that people comfortable with that date? Yep. Works for me. Yep. All righty. Uh, October 30 it is. And we're adjourned at 746, assuming I get a motion to adjourn. I make that okay. motion. <laughs> Second? My second. My second. All those in favor? Hi, Hi Holly. Hi, I, I, Carolyn. Hi, Kelly. I see Can all you? the waving hands. We're adjourned. Thank you, Thanks, Pat. <laughs> Good night. Good night.